YouTube, Drew Queen City Instructors. I'm here, uh, back in action, trying to make a video. I had a few requests to make some videos recently because I have not been, but I'm uh, I'm still here. I'm still around, still breathing, having fun. Uh, I just have been completely slammed with life and doing all kinds of stuff, um, and <laughs> haven't taken the time to make some videos, but. Uh, I do miss doing it. I miss the community on YouTube and starting to see a bunch of clutch cutting videos and stuff like that getting really exciting uh, this time of the season. So I figured I'd do a quick little update on, you know, kind of what's going on here. Uh, I moved recently, so um, let's give you a quick shot around the new snake room. It's still a pretty similar setup to where I was previously. Uh, obviously not a... Uh, huge collection like I had at one point so um nice little storage storage closet over there for everything so yeah it's a you know basic little setup here uh I'll probably start with <laughs> this right here this happened <laughs> got a girl that uh <laughs> slugged out I wasn't I didn't breed her to anything this previous year kept her around she's got a cool banded pattern but she's actually been in quarantine for months now so I didn't breed her to anything and I popped open the uh, tub one day and she'd ovulated or she was ovulating and uh <laughs> anyway so she dropped four uh four slugs there without being bred to anything so you know there that is we'll um try to get her back to a uh, decent health and uh breed her next year um yeah I don't know what I'll put to her but like I said I've just kept her around she has that cool banded pattern so Anyway, she's a smaller girl. I think she's about 1,400 grams. And, uh, you know, so there's that. So I'll have to deal with that here in a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and then this guy, he's in shit, unfortunately. But, you know, there's the uh, five gene male. He's a super pastel, lesser cinnamon pinstripe. So he's, uh, he's growing nicely. I think he's, uh, I don't know, maybe 400 grams now. So maybe not even, but he'll uh he's eating really well so he'll uh he'll be up to size for this coming season got a lot of cool things in mind for him uh we've got of course the uh tri-stripe males here this guy is growing a lot better than his brother um he's actually about to drop a shed as well so it's in that last phase it should come off the next day or two uh then we have let's see this girl who's always hungry, she's the um, Spiderhead Albino, 100%, from Peter Rugner, the oddball. We've got this guy right here. He's an import male I've had for a while. And I was going to sell him, but then just decided to keep him. You know, it's just uh, one of those things where yeah, you can see. Well, you probably can't see because I was being crazy with the camera. Um... He's that guy with a cool head. It's like he's got a, a face on his head. But, uh, am I zoomed in here? Yep, definitely was zoomed in. So, so uh, yeah, that guy, hang on to him. And he's got he's got nice stripe running down his back. So, anyway, then we got the champagne male who's got stuck shed unfortunately so we're gonna have to deal with that but uh this guy's doing really nice it's one of those things where i added him just because i like champagne you know there's nothing really highly sought after at this point but uh of course he has to be in shed he's actually a really nice champagne though i love his pattern nice tangerine colored head oh uh, let's see then we've got of course she's in shed too. It's my uh, leopard pastel, 66% uh, head axanthic, 100% head pied. So she's uh, usually a lot brighter. She's in deep shed right now. Another one of my favorites here, Inchy Fire. 
I am in love with this girl. I can't wait to get her up to size eventually. And um... All right, we had the video cut out on us. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I can't wait to get her up to size and produce some stuff with her. She's just gorgeous. And um, even though the camera is picking up pretty well, still not doing her justice uh, in person. She's just, yeah, I love this girl. <laughs> so moving on, we've got this granite female. Um, you know, I don't really know what I'm going to do with her yet, but, uh, you know, we'll figure out something for her. She's uh, not going to produce anything crazy, but we'll do something with her. Uh, let's go up here real quick to uh, Orange Dream Female. She is growing really nicely. It's one of, she's out of the first clutch ever produced, so she will uh, hopefully be up to size later this year. Uh, I think she'll be at about the year and a half mark going into this 2016 season, so I think we should be able to get her hopefully to breed. We'll see if she produces. Uh, I've got an inchy male who always dumps his water dish, always, buries under it. Um, he's Pies Het, Orange Ghost, so he's, uh, that's Bob Saget. He's <laughs> he's in the video of, of uh, one of the snakes that, that bit me. Um, anyway, he's, he's always got a little attitude. Then we've got my girl, Brittany. I love this girl to death, Lemon Pastel. Um, she is, I got her at 100 grams and she's now right around, I think 1500 grams. So she should be ready to go uh, later this year, finally. Um, you know, again, she's just a single gene pastel, but she is lemon pastel, true lemon pastel. And, uh, you know, I've just, I've been wanting to breed her forever. I love this girl to death. She's always the one that when people come over and check out the snakes, you know, she's the one I'll pull out and don't ever have to worry about her biting anybody. Um, she's always just been really gentle and curious. So, good old Brittany. She will be bred with this guy right here. I love this guy. He's a citrus flame, a citrus pastel, and a, a flame gene. So, uh, he just shed. And anyway, that's who, that's who my living pastel will be bred with. This guy's really nice they uh will produce some really really nice looking babies i would i would imagine with uh the citrus pastel lemon pastel and flame gene um so looking forward to that he's definitely up breeding size um producing plugs so that should be good uh what else well then we just got a few uh <clears throat> a few females a few adult breeding size females um you now there's the uh, Mark Bell Pastel. Um, she's uh, eating nice and, and getting up to uh, to a good breeding weight again. I mean, right now she's probably 1,800 grams, but she's been 2,700 grams in the past. So uh, then we just have, <laughs> well, actually, let's talk about, all right, this one, this is the, uh, the Secret Project female. Her clutch is due to be cut. Uh, this week actually, so anyway, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about her, but that's her. She's doing really well and putting her weight back on. She looks hungry. Then, this is the one let's talk about. So, uh, Het Albino, <laughs> supposedly, uh, bred her to my albino male last year. She produced a clutch of seven eggs. This was the first clutch of the, of the season. And the clutch was hatched last week. And this is what we're working with. Baby number one. Baby number two. Three. Four. Y'all are probably starting to get the idea here. She was bred to a albino female. Baby five. Six and seven, all hundred percent het. <laughs> you know, all of them bred to uh, or I'm, the mom was was bred to a visual albino. So what's that tell you? I got beat. Female wasn't obviously het. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I say that there. You know, there's very there's there's a, a small possibility that she could be het, but let's be real here. Um, 
more than likely not. I bought that in a uh, group about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, where I got a um, Het Pie, Het Albino, and Het Orange Ghost. The Head Orange Ghost was a female that produced last year who was bred to a visual Orange Ghost. That clutch was is in my videos. It was all 100% head. So I started to think the guy wasn't being very honest with me. <laughs> I don't know. What do y'all think? <clears throat> so anyway, it's one of those things, you know, you, you buy buy heads from Craigslist deals and, you know, you get beat sometimes. Uh, but anyway, you know, it is what it is. I'll just... I'm actually probably going to keep one of the, uh, actually the one, the one good thing about the clutch, I've got these, you know, these stickers on here, the orange is male, so it's actually one male and six females, so at least the sex odds on that clutch was really good, but that being said, I'll probably hang on to that male to breed with this female, uh, spider albino, head albino, which I know she's 100% head again, she came from my good buddy, Peter Rugner. Uh, with the oddball, so that's a uh, you know I, I had I had the brother to this snake, which was a, a spider albino. So anyway, that's a uh, probably hang on to that male just to you know produce some spider albinos and and uh, more albinos because as of right now she's the only 100% het albino blood I have. So you know hang on to that male and, and breed them down the road because. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm in the hobby now at this point just to have fun and make some cool looking stuff. And, you know, I like albinos. Um, spider albinos aren't going for a whole lot of money, but that's okay. Um, they uh, uh, they look cool. You know, I'm, I'm just in it to have fun. So, I really need to start making some more videos, y'all. Um, sorry I haven't been. <laughs> Anthony from Grand Granddaddy Herps. Uh, I saw him make a post earlier about looking through his YouTube channel and, and, uh, you know, breeders that used to make videos and don't anymore. And, uh, I took that personally, <laughs> not in a bad way, but, uh, you know, that's, um, one of those people's is, is me. So, uh, I need to start doing it again. So I will start doing it again. Um, you know, I love, I love watching videos on YouTube and, uh, you know, when I don't see the people, making videos that we're making videos, uh, that's not fun. So I don't want to be one of those people that, uh, you know, just, just kind of falls off the face of the earth. So anyway, I will, uh, do a better job about getting back and making some videos. I got again, the clutch, uh, from the secret project female, um, that will be cut, I guess Wednesday, I think is day 55. So, uh, you know, I'll cut that one. It's not going to be anything exciting because it's the very first step in the uh, <clears throat> the project process. So it was bred to a super pastel. Um, See, so, you know, <laughs> all the babies that are, that are going to come out will be citrus pastel. So um, anyway, just wanted to give you all a quick update, uh, show you what I'm working with over here and, and where we are in the process. So as always, comment, subscribe, like the video. Um, check us out at queencityinstrictors.com, facebook.com slash queencityinstrictors704. Thank you for watching and have a great 4th of July weekend.